What's up guys? I had a message that I wanted to share with you this morning and some scripture that, that I think really ties into it. This has really been on my mind lately. Um, if you have social media or YouTube, which obviously you do if you're watching this, um, you see a lot of people, you know, posting that, you know, I'm just out here living my best life or, uh, posting things like, well, you only live once or whatever. Um, I've been seeing that a lot lately and, and it got me to thinking and, and the Lord laid this on my heart and I want to share it with you. Um, I want to start in the book of Galatians, it's chapter 2, verse 20. It says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I live now in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, like I said, people are out here just claiming that they're living their best life when, you know, if you're going to live your best life, it, it better be in Christ. Um, you know, living your best life is not being in the world. It's not living in the world or being of the world. We weren't called to live a life of self-pleasure. We weren't called to feed our flesh every day and only worry about ourselves. Um, yeah, it's good to have fun. It's good to enjoy yourself, but we need to be rooted in Christ. We need to be serving others and putting others before ourselves and our main mission while we're here is to be Christ-like and to be disciples. And, you know, he called us to do things that require self-sacrifice. You know, this life isn't, isn't all about us and what we can get out of it and how much fun we can have and what we can do for ourselves. Here in Matthew 16, 24, it says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciples must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. In John chapter 12, verse 25, it says, Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. You know, I don't know about y'all, but what matters to me is eternal life. <laughs> and that's, you know, spending eternity with Jesus in the kingdom of heaven. Um, if we're truly living our best life, we should be out here being disciples. We should be out here doing work for the kingdom of God. You know, when we wake up in the morning and, and we open our eyes from, from that time to the time that we go to bed, our whole day shouldn't consist of what we can do for ourselves. You know, we live in a, in a society that, that's all about me, 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 and what, what can I do for me, and what am I going to get out of this? And, and that is the opposite of being Christ-like. That is not how Jesus called us to live. This has just been on my mind here lately. I see all of these people posting, you know, hashtag living my best life or, or whatever. You know, living your best life should consist of work, doing work for the kingdom of God. Living your best life should consist of being a disciple and putting others before yourself. You know, the truth is, is, is in this country and in this world today and this time, we've got it twisted. It's not all about me. These are lies from Satan. These are lies from the enemy that we should be selfish, that, that we should only worry about ourselves and, and feed ourselves. That, those are lies from the enemy. We shouldn't only be worried about self-pleasure, we should be worried about self-sacrifice. You know, whenever we start following Jesus and He starts sanctifying us, He'll start stripping us of those things that don't glorify the kingdom of God, that go against His Word. And once He starts working on us, and once we start being sanctified, we realize that, that life really isn't about us, and only us. That it's about furthering the kingdom of God and following Jesus Christ. Just like he told Matthew, come, follow me, follow me. How can we follow Jesus and be like Jesus if we're only worried about ourselves and living our best life? That's not, unless we're 
living our best life rooted in Jesus Christ, then we've got it all wrong. Then we're selfish. And we're a child of Satan and not a child of God. I know that sounds harsh, but Jesus said it in the Bible. He said, you're like your father, Satan. You know, Satan is over this world. We live in a fallen world. In case you guys have not noticed, we live in a fallen world. Um, and people are just so fixed on on pleasing themselves that they're not they're not listening to the word of God. They're not reading the word of God. And Jesus calls us to live a life of self-sacrifice. He tells us to take up our cross, deny ourselves, and follow Him. You know that's that's not what society now calls living our best life. But anyway, um, you know sometimes. Sometimes the truth can be hard. Um, in my opinion, it shouldn't be hard to not be selfish, but, you know, obviously it is in, in today's society. Um, but like I said, we should be living a life of self-sacrifice, taking up our cross and denying ourselves and coming after Jesus Christ. That's what was on my mind. I've been thinking about it a lot here lately. You know, especially looking at social media and stuff like that. But thank y'all for watching today. Um, we're going to start doing some more devotionals more often. Um, if you haven't seen anything about us, we're Fueled by Faith Outdoors. We're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, you can find us if, if you need any prayer requests. You can reach out to us. We have a website. It's fbfoutdoors.com. Um, like I said, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out. We do prayer requests. We take prayer requests, and we'd be happy to, to pray for you or anybody in your family that may need it. Thank you all guys for being here, and we'll see you all next time.